Hey guys I'm Papa Joe and I'm back with a brand new Call of Duty mobile video on my channel. I hope you all had a great Christmas with your family and got some great presents. In this video we take a look at new content that will be coming to COD Mobile next season as well as other notable information about Call of Duty Mobile Season 11. After the holiday series Armory Draw was released a few days ago. I incredibly got two new legendary weapon skins and recently the Jingle Jingle Lucky Draw was released in the game. The next Mythic Operator skin awaits us on December 30th, one day before New Year's Eve. However, rumors surfaced today that the Mythic Siren Lucky Draw will not appear in the game until January 5th at 4pm Pacific Time, which is why it is currently unclear whether the Mythic Siren Operator will really appear on December 30th. It is assumed that the developers have postponed the lucky draw due to possible changes to the uniform more similar. So far we have only been able to see the Mythic Siren character for the first time through published teasers or trailers because the new Mythic Operator has not yet been added to the in-game files by the developers. If the Mythic Siren lucky draw is not released on December 30th, you can assume that the draw will be released on January 5th. Feel free to write me in the comments if you want to spend your COD points on the upcoming Mythic Drop Draw or not. But before the Mythic Siren Operator skin will appear in Call of Duty Mobile, according to the latest information, a Mythic Weapon skin will return tomorrow. I'm talking about the Mythic AS Valve skin called Double Edge which will be released tomorrow on the COD Mobile Global Server along with the other 9 Lucky Draw rewards. We continue with a really interesting piece of information that was released several days ago by the developers of the Chinese version of Call of Duty Mobile. Although we have been waiting for a new multiplayer lobby for two years and nothing has happened so far, the developers have published a survey on several lobby concepts. On the picture below we can see the current lobby plan which looks the same in all servers. In the upper picture we see a concept for a new lobby plan in which the currency is displayed in the upper left area. On the right side of the new lobby map we can see the different tabs like multiplayer mode, battle royale, rank mode, zombies and so on. However, there is currently no information on how and when this change will be made and whether or not the global server will also receive a new lobby map. Feel free to write me your thoughts or opinions in the comments. Several days ago, Dataminers discovered new information about a new Armory series draw in the in-game files, which will possibly be released next year for the new Season 2 or the new Season 3. So far there is no further information on when the next Armory series will be released or what theme it will deal with. But due to the fact that the Chinese Lunar New Year will be celebrated on February 10, 2024, there is a possibility that we can expect a Lunar New Year series Amory draw in Call of Duty Mobile in Season 2 or Season 3. But as already mentioned, this is not confirmed but only a guess. Would you be happy about a Lunar New Year series Armory Lucky Draw in COD Mobile? Last but not least, we come to the new Lucky Draws, Lucky Boxes and new Strong Boxes which will be released for the next Season 1 in January. So far, no models have been added to the in-game files, which is why we only know from the dataminers which rewards await us based on the file name. According to the information in the in-game files, a new lucky draw called Moonlight contains a new legendary AS Val blueprint, a new epic skin for the Locust Sniper Rifle and 8 other lucky draw rewards. In another lucky draw with the file name Mortal, we can expect a new legendary skin for the M4 Leaders MG an epic OTS-9 blueprint and other rewards and items. In addition, another lucky draw will be released for the new Season 1, which will include a brand new legendary blueprint for the new LW-3 Tundra Sniper Rifle. According to further information, the new Crimson LW-3 Tundra draw includes an epic FFAR-1 blueprint, an epic shorty skin and other rewards. For the next season, a new lucky draw called Glass will be released, which according to the information will contain a new legendary PDW57 blueprint as well as other epic and legendary rewards. Otherwise, a lucky draw called Plagued awaits us in the new Season 1, 
which will include a new legendary blueprint for the CR-56 Amax assault rifle and other items. I think that the lucky draw with the legendary LW-3 Tundra will definitely be the most interesting draw of the new Season 1. Now to the new epic lucky boxes and strong boxes which were also discovered by the dataminers in the in-game files. Unfortunately, no new bundle awaits us for Season 1, but a total of 4 new strong boxes and 2 new lucky boxes. Furthermore, there is no information about which rewards or items we can expect in the new strong boxes and lucky boxes. So according to the information, we can expect a new Red Queen lucky box and a new lucky box called Ebony and Ivory. In addition, a new strong box called the Beanstalk, a new epic cloaked strong box and an Adler Gunslinger strong box will be released for Season 1, which will most likely contain the epic Adler Gunslinger operator from Black Ops Cold War. Otherwise, a new strong box called Spinning Wheel will be released in the store next season. And that's it for the video. I hope you liked it and enjoyed it. If so, give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel be sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell. Don't forget to check out my other videos on my channel. Thank you so much.